Hey everybody, welcome. It's Wendy. Um, today we are doing something similar but different. So, you know, I'm kind of stuck on this watercolor thing right now. I'm a little obsessed and so it'll pass, so hang with me. But in the meantime, I'm really feeling lots of creative juices flowing and coming up with some really fun stuff. So Creative Challenge Club is usually on Monday, but we are taking December off. So you won't see any sketches or creative challenges the month of December, and um, you'll just see other stuff from each artist, okay? So make sure to visit their blogs um, during our month off and join us again in January for Creative Challenge. So today I have something really cool for you. I'm not going to show you the card beforehand because I want you to see it all come together. It's so cool. So we have a piece of watercolor paper here and we have our tape down around the edges just like we did in the Friday video. If you haven't seen Friday's video, I go over this uh, technique in more detail. So you might want to visit that video first and then watch this one. And um, the link to that video is right here. Okay, so we're going to get started by placing down all of our tape. Today, we're going to place our tape going just like this and these are cut into half inch strips so I have a few that are gonna go straight across like this I just want to get them as straight as possible up and down they don't have to be perfect but straight is good so then I have one that's cut at a quarter of an inch so all I did is I put this piece on the trimmer and cut it in half really easy to do you can totally do it all right and then I'm gonna put a couple pieces going like this I'll do two here so I'll do one there and one there whoops I don't have quite enough angle on that so this is really easy to peel up just peel it right back up put it back down okay and then I have another strip that I'm going to put right here. And then a couple of short pieces that we'll tear off. So this card was inspired by a stamp set that I saw by a company called Lawn Fawn. And they have really cool stamps. Um, I know I'm a Stamp It Up demonstrator and taboo taboo that I'm talking about another company but listen there's lots of talented people out there and lots of really beautiful things and so I am not going to pretend that those things don't exist because um, <clears throat> let's face it if you're a crafter you buy from everybody right okay so we ha I have my cup of water here my cute little Hello Kitty cup and my paper towel, they're off to the side over here. And actually, I'll just zoom out for you guys so you can see. Well, maybe I better not have my cup of coffee up there too. Um, you, you actually probably see the technique better if I zoom in. Okay, so we're going to use Lost Lagoon first. This is our first layer, so you're going to squeeze the middle really good. Get it nice and wet. So you have all this ink in the palette here and then we're gonna get our brush full of water and just mix and make this really nice beautiful watercolor wash and then I'm just gonna go in between all the tape with the Lost Lagoon ink sorry I have a cold so if you're watching this, it's Monday and I'm actually on my way home from Montana, but I'm recording this on, what's today? <laughs> Wednesday, the day before Thanksgiving, because I wanted to make sure you guys had a cool video to watch while I was gone. So um, yeah, I've managed to get the beginnings of a cold the day before we are flying halfway across the country so that's awesome but you know what it's fine I'm blessed I'm I'm totally blessed to be going I'm excited I'm going to see Shannon my cousin and so I'm just not gonna let a cold get me down it'll be fine 
Okay. So now we're going to use um, the heat tool and I'm going to heat set this. All right. Now that it's nice and dry, we are going to use our Island Indigo ink. Get it nice and inky. Clean your brush. And you're just going to go right over the top with Island Indigo. And it makes a beautiful color because you get a little bit of that lighter green blue poking out from underneath. And it's just very pretty. I like it a lot. More water. So in my other video I tell you that when it starts doing that streaky thing and not going on nice, that means that you need more water in your brush. So a little more ink, more water, and we'll finish this off here. Okay. So I'm feeling good about that. So now I'm going to dry it again with the heat tool. Alright, so this is nice and dry. So now, before we pull any tape off, we are going to do the next step. So I have my early espresso um, marker here. We're going to take this marker and we are going to go and trace around all of this tape, the edges of the tape. And I really kind of give it a little push towards the tape so that if there's any white space, it kind of fills that white space in. Okay? I wonder if you're guessing already, maybe you already knew before this, what we're making. I'm so excited to show you. Okay. So this, doing this kind of stuff is so fun to me. I just love it. So therapeutic. Um, it really relaxes me. And I love having something that's finished and beautiful and unlike anything else in the world. Because each thing's so unique. Okay. So we're going to now peel off all the tape. And just do a very delicate job of that in case any of your tape is sticking to the paper so that you don't rip your paper. If you just kind of pull really fast and it's stuck to your paper, it will tear your paper. Um, usually, painter's tape won't stick to watercolor paper, but I have had it happen. So you have to be kind of gingerly when you're peeling it all off. On Thursday, I will have a post for you guys on my trip to Montana. So make sure you check back on Thursday and see the fun that we had while we were in Montana. All right, so we're going on that. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? It's the beginning of. Okay, if you don't see it, that's okay. It's the beginning of trees. You know those really cool white trees? Okay, so now we are gonna take our um, color early espresso marker and you are gonna go, I have to turn everything sideways. You're gonna make the little, I don't know what these are called, ticks, strips, um, bark. Do you know how, what I'm talking about with these trees? <laughs> I know I'm very scientific at, um, in explaining it to you. So you're going to do this on every tree and then you're going to go along here on the inside of where the lines you traced and kind of make like a squiggly line. Okay. And that darkens up that edge of the tree there and it gives it not such a straight edge look. Now if you like it straight then by all means leave it that way. 
but I prefer to go along the edge and just give this little squiggle and it just kind of darkens up the tree edge and it creates more of a realistic look I think. So we're just going to finish this one tree on camera and then I'm going to show you the finished card because it could take us all day if we if I do this on the whole thing on camera. We're probably already like way into this video time wise. Okay so there's one of them. So here's what the card looks like when it's finished. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. I love how it turned out and like I said that's all I did is I just went into each one of those and made the little squiggles and made the little lines and then this sentiment is from the paper pumpkin stamp set for this month. I love this stamp set. There's a Merry Christmas stamp and so I stamped it on red and put it there and that's it. That's our card. Isn't it beautiful? Have fun with this washi tape and watercolor technique. It's super easy. You don't even have to have Stampin' Up! inks. You know, I mean, let's just be honest. I would prefer if you did, and if you do need them, you can get them from, I don't know, me. But if you don't, any watercolor-based ink should work for you. And, um, yeah, have fun with this, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching, everybody, and I will see you on Wednesday for Wowza Wednesday. Bye-bye.